Uh, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, I will show you an actor called Script Trigger. With this, you can actually make a, a scripted event happening, but uh, without actually knowing the knowing the scripted language. It's uh, very easy to use, and I will show you how to use it. Well, here I have made a basic map, uh, just a small hallway with two rooms. Um, I'm gonna make uh, once you uh, enter the hallway, uh, a couple of zombies will spawn, and I will make a boss uh, spawn in this other ar area. It's like a mission map. So for this we will need an actor. Uh, we're gonna first we're gonna need we're gonna add some uh, weapon pickups for the player, since they will start out with no weapons. So just AK-47 and what about uh, a shotgun? Okay, that should be fine. All right, find actor key point. Uh, I script. Scripted sequence, scripted trigger. Uh, find the location where you want it. Uh, I'm gonna put it in this hallway around the corner so you don't see them spawn. Let's add scripted trigger. It's not working. And again, uh, you need a big area for it to uh, to actually show up. And then you just click it, drag it into the hallway. And we're gonna go to radius view, so you can actually see uh, the r the radius of uh, the actor. Now we're gonna go to the options of the scripted trigger. Uh, you go to I script actions. Action is what's going to happen. Well first, we want to trigger the p the scripted trigger. So we're gonna uh, first add a trigger. So go to triggers trigger. Uh, and the right mouse on the floor, of course. Once you have the trigger, you click the viewport, uh, right mouse on it, actors, uh, radius view. And then in the 3D view, you can see the radius of the trigger. We need to make it bigger, so right mouse, uh, go to collision, collision radius. Change to okay, now you can see that you will always uh, touch it when you walk past it. We're gonna set up a vent, I'm gonna call it start. We're gonna make it only trigger once. That's uh, that's all good. And now we're gonna set up the scripted trigger. Go to I script uh, actions. We're gonna add an action. We want to change the action. So new action. And then we're gonna find action. Wait for event because it will wait for the uh, other trigger event. You click new and then you click external event start since the trigger is called uh, event start. Then we're gonna need uh, we're gonna add an, another actor action and find action wait for timer so it will take a few seconds before the zombie spawn when you touch the trigger. You're gonna make it something like uh, 5 and then we're gonna need to spawn the zombie so we're gonna find action spawn actor once you have it you click new uh, actor class we want to find uh, something like zombie clot or zombie gore fest they're uh, on the bottom so we are gonna find zombie um, zombie clot yeah once you have that, it should be working already. Now we can easily just duplicate this for more zombies. So just shift D, shift D, shift D. I forgot to add pad notes, so I will do that real fast. I'll speed it up. Okay, now that we have the pad notes in there, uh, I'm gonna build all. So build all, save, and now we can just test the map.
Alright, here we are in the map. Uh, the weapon pickups. This is the first area. Once we uh, walk down this hallway, the monsters will spawn. It's supposed to be four monsters. Two. To find the other two. Maybe it's down this hallway. I guess I uh, made a mistake from uh, placing the, the spawns too close to each other and then the collision uh, makes one not spawn because they spawn at the same time. If you put a little time between them they will spawn. Okay now I will show you how you can import a small message for the players for like if you make a mission map. So what we're gonna do is duplicate the script the trigger. Go to the option of the trigger, go to actions. Here you see event is start. Wait for timer. We deleting. We're gonna delete this uh, action. Spawn actor. We delete as well. Add a newer one. And now we're gonna look for action display message. It's usually it's on the top. Gotta find it. Uh, here, display message. Add new. The me uh, be broadcast to true. Then all players will see it, otherwise only the, the player who triggers it will see it. And then you put in the message you want the uh, players to see. So now we have done that. We are going to... Alright, now we will make a, a boss area. Uh, the first we, we will need two uh, movers. One for the top and one that brings the boss up to the top uh, of the area. So I already made a lift uh, static mesh. So we, uh, I did wrong. I need to make it in a mover. And once you have it into a mover, I put it in location where you want it. We're gonna drag it down a bit. Like on the floor. Now we're gonna set up some mover keys. No, uh, at the bottom, one on to the top. Put it back in now. Then we're gonna go to uh, mover properties, mover, and find uh, mover time. You can change the time of the mover. Something like 50. Uh, stay open time, we don't need that. Go to options, uh, trigger toggle. Once you have it on trigger toggle, we are gonna need another mover for the top. So uh, this actually like, uh, it will move aside and then uh, then it will, the boss will come up. So zero and one we gonna move it out of the way. drag it into the in the floor or something doesn't really matter for this tutorial alright once we have that done we are gonna duplicate the trigger you can also just replace uh, place a new trigger there doesn't matter but we are gonna use the same properties only different events so duplicating is the easiest way so we are gonna call the start too because once you touch this uh, the boss will come up we are gonna duplicate a scripted trigger as well or just place a new script trigger. Oh yeah, what we want to do first is make a small uh, cylinder around the trigger that will block uh, the zombies from touching it. If, because if they touch it, they uh, will also activate it. There's also another way you can do it, but just blocking the class. But I found this the easy way, so I, I usually use this. So just use a cafe, uh, let's find it, KF zombie volume, uh, right mouse properties, uh, blocking volume, uh, remove the human pawn, add a new one, and only add uh, the zombies that, uh, that we spawn, so for this only clots will spawn, so we only have to block a clot class, I will show you, bye bye.